hopefully we're gonna finish our engine flush today weather is a bit better than yesterday and it was heavy rain yesterday hopefully today we're gonna we're gonna finish where we start a few days ago then cover up let's start the engine and we're gonna take after that uh, the engine cover out to, to have a look how it looks like underneath after after engine flush okay let's start the engine now I just wonder if it's gonna start a bit choke probably battery is flat anyway <laughs> I know it's gonna be like that. Before we're gonna start, I'm gonna check spark plugs, how they look like after all this uh, adjustment we did already. I remember before they've been very bad condition, very black. What does that mean? They have too much fuel. And maybe some oil burn as well. well let's have a look right now third one it is dark but not like it was before I'm gonna check random one another one maybe maybe second one Second one. Look at this. Much, much better. Before it was very, very dark. But let's start the engine. Let's give it a, a run, a good run, and after that we're gonna we're gonna check again. I think still is a bit too much fuel, but anyway, carburetor has to be split it on the parts and uh, clean up. As that hasn't been done for for a little while. I don't even know for how long. Then after after engine flush, that's gonna be my next step. We're gonna remove carburetor and we're gonna clean up everything. Okay, let's try start. Choke. Sounds good to me. I think choke was not needed to be honest. Sounds good. Okay, let's give me a warm up and let's do engine fast again. And we've got 
engine temperature around 60 70 degrees second stage cleaning in progress I'm just wonder how this cover is gonna looks like uh, underneath as you saw before was lots of lots of things on it and hopefully that's gonna clean up our engine a bit at least what we can say at this minute uh, engine stopped smoke it was smoke quite quite a lot but I believe mainly was uh, wrong uh, mixture but also the engine flush it will help a bit about the, the piston rings and what we're gonna do after that uh, we're gonna check compression again uh, we're gonna compare figures how was the previous and and the existing one then let's start the engine let's warm up let's let's give it a bit run for 20 minutes let's say at least and we're gonna do uh, oil out and put the fresh oil again and we, we change oil again that's the oil we just changed well yesterday did five miles around then we New oil is in, it's the one, 20W50, color green, strange, for me, eh? because I never seen that before, but anyway, uh, the engine is filled up, uh, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna let it run for a bit, and then I'm gonna take all the spark plugs out, uh, we're gonna check the compression now I'm gonna remove all the spark plugs and then we're gonna do compression test again I look at the spark plugs how they looks like now how the big difference is between previous time I removed them and cleaned them up This one is still dark, but the very first one was almost as should be. Then let's see the third one. Mostly car was on either right now. Okay, let's clean up a bit. Let me grab the focus. It's, it's a bit better. Once we're gonna uh, check compression, hopefully I've got enough time. Enough time before rain, it will come up to remove that cover for you and for myself to to have a look if if the engine flash clean a bit or doesn't. As I said, we're gonna take that engine on, on parts anyway and we're gonna replace quite a lot of things you know to keep the engine let's say very perfect condition very good condition so quite nice engine straight six 2.4 liter okay all the spark plugs out and then we're gonna check compression Okay, I'm gonna do test on the first one. It's zero. Let me crank the engine. Okay, the throttle pedal has to be fully in because I'm myself today. Then I have to be a bit creative. Let's let's crank. <laughs> First 
one. 11. Let's do second one now. Obviously, it's start training just right now, but I'm not gonna stop. I have to. I have to finish that. Now let's see. Second one. Almost 11. Leo, I'm working. See, I'm fixing engine. Okay, third one. gonna do uh, some piece of paper at minute to show you how is before and after engine flash for one moment all of them has 11 that's very nice there's almost no difference between each other okay I need two hands for the last one okay now six one Exactly same like before. I mean before uh, the previous one. The all of them has around eleven. There's almost no no difference between each other. Then let me make some piece of paper figures before and now. The cover is off. Not a not a big change to be honest. It is a bit cleaner, but but still is not. We can be impressed. But you see now how it looks like it was fully fully black. Then always makes sense that make to do it because we're gonna clean up the engine a bit let's see the cover inside still there's lots of lots of shit on it I'm gonna clean up a bit and I'm gonna put it back okay one more thing what I'm worried about is that chain obviously most of the cars has chain right now but Look at this. 
that's the manifold side here and I'm not sure if there's supposed to be some tensioner here and it's broke we don't have it or there is anything missing but probably now we're gonna find out later on when we're gonna strip the engine down at this moment you can see engine working but obviously has lots of lots of shit on it look at this That's how it looks like. Japan. Okay, then let me put the cover back. Uh, and the next step is the carburetor. Then I'm gonna remove them, remove it, and and gonna open up to to have a look and clean up all of, all of it. Carburetor is off. I have to clean up a little bit here. But mainly, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna clean up everything here. As you see, this carburetor hasn't been moved from here from the car for ages. Then, definitely, there is lots of shit on it which have to be cleaned up oh, it's a lot better. back on the road isn't it <laughs> Everything back to the place. Carburetor is clean up a bit outside, inside. Obviously, I didn't open up because I, I have to get new uh, new seal. I did manage the, this one because this one was broke and I did it myself. But uh, now sounds good. Quite good response for the. Accelerating, then looking good to us. Now we can do some work on brakes because all of the wheels are holding a bit. Then still lots of to do, but one step forward, isn't it? Where's that three this weekend? We will see. <laughs> all depends. This. Glad you're in. 